Facebook Live, good afternoon. It's a little different this afternoon because technology is not cooperating at all. I lost the technology on my phone, so I'm coming to you, however, and I'm hoping that we can communicate. I'm here to talk about the importance of charity. And I'm from a place where charity was very, very important. Growing up, my parents were very charitable and we were always giving, granted that we didn't have a lot. We were always giving back to the community. And I came here with that spirit. And I got involved with It is just a story that goes from leap to bounds. That same year at the Black Achievers Banquet, I was asked to present one of my paintings to then Congressman from Philadelphia, William Gray, Bill Gray. So I went up to make my presen presentation at the Holiday Inn and it was a painting I'd created titled Life. Since they just saw your presentation, they would like to talk with you. I didn't know which magazine was that or anything, but she told me it was Out and About magazine. Yes, and I contacted them and I was commissioned to create a cover for their magazine for May 1993, I chose to create n none other artwork other than representing the YMCA. Had a beautiful cover with the YMCA. And that cover, at the time, we didn't use that term viral, but it, um, it would be applicable to say the cover went all around the state of Delaware and I was getting calls from all over. People were asking me to show my art. Then I started showing, exhibiting my paintings. And then a friend of mine said, well, now that you are out there on the market, you better license your art. Otherwise, when tax time come, if you're selling, you have to claim it on your taxes. I said, what are you talking about? It's my hobby. But I took her advice and she, she licensed the Lafayette Gallery in 1993, which is now 28 years. And it has been a very exciting journey, an intriguing journey, but it started with charity. And that is why for this year's National Caribbean American Heritage Month, I am taking on charity. What I plan to do on the 21st of
our field. In 2004, for the, for the annual banquet, we invited three speakers for a round table, three legendary baseball players. One has since passed, Hank Aaron. He's now deceased, he passed this year. It was Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, and Sammy Sosa led a great round table discussion. And I was asked to, to create the design for the cover. So I used this painting as a cover for the program booklet. We also made some limited edition print. We framed them and I presented all three men with a copy of this painting. So this is one of my most valuable paintings at the Y. You would have seen this morning, if you are looking on my page or if you didn't, then go look at my page. I uploaded this image to the website that customizes my art into products. That's Fine Art America. I uploaded the painting early this morning and from that we have mugs, find all the images will be doing so it's a, a three-way it's a triangle you the patron the YMCA and Lafayette gallery all three of us combined all the art I'm going to be putting out for sale that evening when you purchase the art a percentage of it will be going to the Y and the gallery naturally will get will get some benefit from it, but you are going to be the greatest beneficiary because you will walk away with a valuable work of art. It's not just going to be this. It's going to be several other pieces of my art, like my pandemic. Three little birds. One of my friends came in yesterday, Marilyn from People to People, Delaware. She bought a limited edition print. Neat. This, this is a miniature we call them miniatures and they are pocket change they they are not very expensive they are priced in a way that will help you to collect art so come prepared actually first put on your calendar June to shop right again shop right chain of food store provided us with a lot they were so very generous i want to thank them again so the biggie this friday and let me get some drum roll for that we need a drum roll to talk about this friday coming this friday coming we are going to be having and if I can get my music going. Yeah, that's 
going on here with the music? Oh, we need the drum, uh, we need the drum roll. So, okay, it's coming up, coming up. All right, there we go. Drum roll on Friday, which is the 11th of June. Wilmington's drummer extraordinaire Jonathan Whitney will be here at Lafayette Gallery for a lunchtime entertainment. Now, weather, if the weather is good, he's going to be set up outside, right in front of my gallery for the lunch hour. It's from noon to 1 p.m. If, if we have rain, then he come inside the gallery. I invite you, if you live in the city of Wilmington, Delaware, Schedule your lunch time. Maybe take an extra half an hour. Tell them that Eunice Lafayette asked you to do that for National Caribbean American Heritage Month to celebrate lunchtime concert at Lafayette Gallery, 227 North Marcus Street in Wilmington, Delaware. We're going to be led by drummer Jonathan Whitney Jr. He's going to be having a three man um, band. There, he was bringing two others with him to play the drums, and we are to our ancestors who came from Africa, and how important drumming was to them. So I invite you on Friday to take your time if you live in Wilmington if you're retired sitting out there come on get off the couch you know take walk get some sunshine come on down to the fate gallery to enjoy that lunchtime entertainment I look forward to meeting you and then you can stroll through the gallery you know sip something and pick up some art it's important it takes a village to grow a business from the old African proverb takes a village to raise a child it takes a village to grow a business and it takes a village to grow an organization so by me asking you to, on the 21st to come to the deco to buy art we are helping the organization of the YMCA to grow thank you very much for watching and I want you to share this video. If you have questions, please call me at 302-656-6786. That's the Lafayette Gallery. And the hours for the gallery, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thanks again for watching.